Hey guys, and welcome back to another More with Moros video. Today's video is going to be a DIY video, which I know you guys have been looking forward to these. And we had to, we take a pause. We do one, we take a pause. We do another one, take a pause. Yes. At one point, we were doing like back-to-back -back DIYs and renovations in the house, but it takes a lot of time. And it burns a hole in your pocket. And it takes a lot of energy too. So we've kind of had to space them out, but we are excited for this one because we are doing a DIY fireplace in our master bedroom. This has been in the works actually for the last two weeks. We've stared at a template for <laughs> two weeks. We've stared at this template for two weeks and we're like, okay, we need to get a start on this project. And we got the fireplace already. Frank got the material yesterday. Yesterday. So yeah. we are doing pretty much this whole thing from scratch. Yep. Basically. So we're going to tear out some carpet. We're going to tear up a wall. No, I'm just kidding you guys. We're going to take out, out the baseboard, wall. some take up some carpet. We're not going to make this intro super long because Frank's antsy. He's ready to get to work. Let me just go ahead and show you guys what we have so far, which is not going to look like much. It's going to look like just basically tape on the, the wall. wall. <laughs> that was our tripod for the time being why we sat there. But this is what we have so far. Like I said, not much. And the camera does not want to focus. There we go. Not much, but other than tape on the wall. So basically what we're doing is this whole section right here is going to be the new fireplace in our room. So we have this tape right here to basically show that this is where the fireplace is going to be, right? Because you've yes. already measured it. That's how big it is, right? Yes. That's 40, how big it is. 42 inches. 42 inches. Oh, that's a, that's a decent size of fireplace and it's electric, which is perfect because there's a plug, in. a plug in right there. And then the mantle, which I'm almost thinking maybe, well, I guess we'll see how it looks, but that's what I was saying, like, uh, I was talking to you earlier about this. I might raise the fireplace oh, just a little bit. A <laughs> ah, dropping stuff. So I might raise the fireplace like from here, like the bottom of the fireplace be kind of closer to here and it'd be up a little higher. And then obviously raise this up just a little bit more. The mantle. But like when I was doing this, I literally just come in here and was like taping everything and just to get a general idea. Yeah, but like obviously all of this can be moved around. This is just what I started with. Also, we're gonna run into a little bit of a dilemma up here. I'm gonna have to uh, oh with the curtains, yeah. Change the curtains a little bit, like. I'm gonna have to move, move them, them in, a little bit. Move them over just a little bit, but that's not a big deal. I know it's hard to explain it because you can't. I'm a visual person, so usually I can't visualize something unless I actually see it. So I'll pop up a picture and show you guys what our inspiration is, but we're just gonna tweak it to our liking. So we are gonna have the mantle. I wanna put a mirror here instead of the TV. The TV and the dresser, they're not moving, they're staying they're over staying there. Over there. So there will be a mirror, a mantle, very simple shiplap. Yes. But we're going to do a different color yes. for that. So uh, I don't think we need to explain anymore. Let's just Let's go just ahead go. and get started because I know Frank's ready. And we have to say a huge thank you to Turbro for sending the electric fireplace to us. You guys are amazing. It's actually the same company that sent us the air conditioning and heater yeah, in the garage. You guys, so we much. love that company so much. It has saved us. I'm able to work out in the summer. And then we're able to stay warm and work in there in the winter. So... Highly recommend this company. I'll leave all that stuff down below if you guys want to check out their air conditioner or the air conditioner we have and everything will be down below in the description. Think, Are you ready? I think it's just like for me the most exciting thing is like cutting stuff. I'm like oh, destroying our house. I've, I've already started and Brittany was like yeah. stop we gotta film this and I was like but but it's fun. Destroying our house. Yeah. You love it don't you? You love to. <laughs> So I made it out here to the garage. I had to run down here and get a few things and I realized that I did not show you guys all of the stuff that I bought. So I'm gonna flip it around and show you guys that now. So I bought two 10 or four 10 foot two by fours. I've got five or six, I think it's five uh, two by four by eights. Some one by fours just to see if I go a different direction. And then 26 
pieces of shiplap. Now I did get the MDF shiplap this time. I did not get the wood because it was it was expensive. Actually, what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is start framing out that fireplace. Now I know I'm gonna have to start with framing out my sides and then work on the inside. So I'm gonna cut all of my pieces at 108 inches and, or 108 and 7 eighths inches. That way I have a little bit of gap top to bottom so I can adjust it as needed. Craig jig out and made like the little pocket holes for my wood screws mm -hmm. because I wanted to have a better base for everything and make it really strong. Now you can use like regular wood screws, but they hide everything. It's like yeah. nice and neat. I like that. Oh, I'm about to sneeze again. It's all the dust. This is what it looks like. See how it's hidden in there? Yep. It's like little pocket holes and it's just really strong. Um, what I'm going to do now is put this one on the other side and then it's as easy as flipping it over, screwing everything down, and then I'll have one side ready to put up. Ow, that just poked my butt. <laughs> Ooh, that hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I've done that so many times where I've stepped on stuff. That's why that I wear that's why I wear shoes anytime you do projects. So, so I'll have this side done. I just gotta take up the uh tacks for for the uh carpet and then it'll go all the way to the top. So we'll have one side finished, we'll get the other side, and then I can start framing out the middle. I was in the middle of putting the cabinet pools on, and I was like, okay, I'll just do that one second, and then I'll come back and film Frank putting it up. You already put it up. If y'all don't know yet, Accidents are terrible. Frank got into a really bad car accident. So his back has been hurting. Non-stop. Making sure it's square. Yeah. <laughs> That's your favorite word to use, is square. Yeah, make sure it's square. now I'm going to open well it's already kind of open I wanted to take a little sneak peek but I am going to unbox this fireplace and see how I need to mount it because I have both of my sides up and now I gotta work on the middle where the fireplace is going to go I wanted to show you guys some of the features so it has 1400 watts and infrared I hope I'm saying this correctly <laughs> infrared heating element realistic flame and ember bed effect temperature adjustment overheating power off protection it has a remote control and i believe you can change the colors too you can also put it on a stand which i think is really cool as well but since we're mounting it we won't be using the stand just going a little bit at a time i think that's the actual stand it's this is a stand i'm so excited for this that's the front of it yes ma'am Oh, there's your little logs. Last piece, what is this? This is the glass. Oh, that goes over it, okay. It's staying covered up. Staying covered up for right now. <laughs> yeah, it has all these settings and it modes. Looks pretty simple. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> After taking a few minutes to really think about what I was going to do next, I'm going to frame out the fireplace, but kind of the best way to describe it. So the fireplace, I want to sit flush with because there's going to be a quarter inch of shiplap right here i want it to fit flush right there so what i'm going to do is use this that i already cut frame it out for the fireplace because it just hangs with one like little strap in the back bring it as far forward right here as i need and then we'll be
ready? All right, that's Ooh. it. <laughs> <laughs> that's nice though. That looks really nice. Yeah, just imagine laying in bed, enjoying the fireplace. That looks really good, babe. Well. Wait, does it get warm like a fireplace too? Yeah, it's got a blower at the bottom. It sets it at 82 and mm -hmm. your fans down here, so it's blowing out. Ooh. It takes a minute to get warm like anything else. That's but... nice though. Oh, hey, come here. Oh, I already feel it already. Yeah. Felt it a little bit. Feel it, oh, feel it down here. Oh, it is all nice and warm. Well, next thing I'm going to do tomorrow, because I'm... My bag's killing mm -hmm. me. Is I'm gonna finish framing this out. This is just like I wanted to get it up here, see how it looks. Right. Um, I'm gonna take two by fours and run across the bottom here, along the top, and across the top here, so it actually is secured, mm. not by just this little just the hanger. Wood. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, it's pretty much ready for a ship lap. That's like the next step, right? Well, after that, after I after I frame this out right here, I'm gonna run a single or probably two posts all the way to the top. So when I go to do my ship lap, I have always have something to nail into. It looks good. Looks really good so far. Yeah, it's, it's putting out some heat though. If you still got to put the cover, the glass cover yeah, the over too. But I don't want to put the cover on because I don't, I don't trust my little <laughs> makeshift framework here. Oh my gosh! We're putting the little rocks on there. I like those. It comes with um, also Even these. Even though I have to take them right now. Comes with these. Rock too, but I told Frank I like the little crystals better. All right, so we had a slight dilemma. Um, I noticed last night when we were looking at it from afar, it was a little slanted. So even though my framing is square, the house is sitting at a slight angle going back towards this way, which I should have remembered from when I did the makeover in the girls' room. Now the house sits. At a slight angle. I readjust, readjusted the brace for the fireplace itself and then I'm going to brace it up underneath. But one thing that I am running into is the exhaust fan blows down. So I think I'm going to have to cut this out right here so that way it is free of the blower. Again, I try to come up here to get some B-roll and Frank's already finished it again. I was going to show you guys what he was doing. But oh, I see one of the crystals. I had to take these away from the kids because they kept playing with them. They thought they were toys. I had to put them up here, away from them. But do you wanna explain what you just did? Yeah, so this side was lower than this side. So what I did was go back into the mounting bracket itself, leveled that, and then worked my frame around that. And then I had to cut out the bottom here because this is where the vent blows down so what you'll never notice it <clears throat> but when i put that ship lap i'm going to do the same thing that way one it doesn't get too hot and two it has like room to go like room to blow out i squared this out and left just enough room and i'll show you guys back in next there the ship lap can run behind it and square kind of everything out and then what i'll do is just put I'll use my little uh, little saw there and do like a little cutout from where the air is going to blow right. out. So you, it's just going to be like that little hole, little square hole right gotcha. here, or rectangle hole. Yeah. Other than that, the last few things that I got to do is I've got to run a board, which I've got to go back to Lowe's because I miscounted on my two by fours, and get a two by four to go straight up this way. And connect at the top right there so i gotta get two two by fours one that's going to connect at the top and one straight down so that way whenever i go to do the ship lap it's not going to be wavy in the middle it's actually going to have something i can nail to this is really really cool you can go in here and which one is it so like this thing instantly gets hot and it's going to be like 80 70 or 80 degrees so that that's why i wanted to leave this little space right here so it has room to blow out because it's blowing straight down So it is now day three of this fireplace project that's supposed to take two days. So I'm gonna turn the camera around, show you guys everything that I have completed so far. I'm just gonna finish up doing a little bit of framing and then we're putting up shiplap. All right, you guys, so here's what I have so far. Now this shiplap right here is not secured. I just wanted to see how far 
I can come up right here to be able to go behind the built-in fireplace itself. So what the next part is I've got to take this two by four right here, go across the top and then one down the center. That way I have something to nail the shiplap to. But I also wanted to point out one quick thing right here. So since the blower for the fireplace is right up underneath here, I had to cut this out, but no worries. It's all like on the inside here. I'm gonna get some spray paint and spray it all black so you don't see it. And then also, I'm gonna put a nice decorative grate over top of that so it just looks like a little vent hole for the built-in fireplace itself. But other than that, I'm gonna take all this shiplap back off, put the framing up, and then we will start getting everything ready for as far as the compressor, the nail gun, the nails, so we can put all this shiplap up. And that's gonna be like one big time-lapse footage because who doesn't love a good time-lapse? Chip lap. Um, I went to Lowe's the other day and bought myself another nail gun. I got some, I think I went shorter this time. Yeah, inch and a half uh, brad nails because this is MDF and I really didn't want to split it too hard. So I got that set up, got my compressor going, got tons of ship lap here and there. I'm so excited because I can't wait to get this all the way up. So you're just ready to start nailing now. Yep, and I got a time lapse set up right there. So we're double camera this for you guys, so this is going to be fun. You guys, I feel like this is taking forever, but we've got a lot of updates for you guys so far. We are almost finished with the shiplap and the trim. The next thing I'm gonna have to do is do all the caulking, fill in some nail holes, and now I'm going to work on the vent for the fireplace. So like I told you guys earlier, the vent for the fireplace is right here. I'm gonna go, actually I gotta take this off, go get my black spray paint. I'm gonna spray paint the inside of this black this is going to go over it. I'm going to actually redo this and make it just a little bit bigger because I've got some trim pieces to go around. I got a question. What do you think about my little makeshift vent that I made? It looks a little sketchy now. Give it time. I know. So, so you guys, I had to uh, put a piece of this like decorative, it's called like decorative mesh and like filled the inside of the holes actually spray painted inside of the house and Brittany was like what are you doing i know i was like wait a second i was like do we need to open the windows or something <laughs> so i went ahead and did that and then lowe's actually had these little small tiny strips of wood so i figured that would make a nice clean border around now that will be gray the rest of this will be gray and did we talk about the trim what color did we do with the trim was it all gray do everything gray oh everything gray well what is it the right color is um peppercorn peppercorn by sherman williams so it's like a very it's not black it's almost like i would say almost like this color like yep. our headboard color or maybe our bench color like a very dark gray i think it's gonna look really nice i was gonna keep it white but since we have this whole wall right here this board and batten it'd be too I much white be, yeah i think it's gonna be a nice contrast and with the mirror up there which my new mirror for the entryway just got delivered. I saw it on the Nest camera. So I'm gonna take that mirror that's in our entryway and, and it's put gonna it go up here. here. I have a 
makeshift mantle that I'm going to try to do. We're going to see how it turns out. We're not doing like the really thick one. Where I got, so what I did was I got a, actually got a two by 10 and I'm going to try to sand that down and plane it out a little bit to where it's nice and level and then put that on the wall itself. My job here is done except for some caulking. Then it's your turn to paint. I'll do the painting. I only have one like exception when it comes to the painting. Just Frank has to get everything laid out. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys, I'm going to have to like tape everything down here for the carpet because I know Brittany gets a little paint happy. That's what I'm saying. The exception that you have to get everything ready. <laughs> All right. And also you guys excuse the amount of clothes. Brittany is in the I'm middle of right doing now. laundry. I, I'm taking a brief intermission. portion of this project where I take over my small little contribution and that is going to be painting the fireplace so you guys saw that I taped off everything Frank brought the paint up I think we already told you guys the color but it is peppercorn by Sherwin Williams this is the type of paint that Frank got the showcase stain blocking paint and primer one coat coverage guarantee we'll see about that interior semi-gloss brought all the paint stuff put some tarp down or some plastic down because I do get a little paint happy so I do need a paintbrush I don't know if we have one Frank is gonna see if we have a paintbrush or not but I am gonna start off with my roller and doing at least the majority of the fireplace percent done painting but I was starting to get a little bit worried after that first coat because I could you guys can see it's a very very splotchy but I went ahead and added a second coat of paint to this bottom half the only thing I'm thinking about now is you see the white spaces I don't know if I should keep that or I should go in and paint it because I don't know it doesn't look it just doesn't look even like you can definitely see it right here but there's some spots down here where the ship lap is like really close together so I don't know if I maybe I need to go in with like a really fine paintbrush. So Frank just went to Lowe's and he got me a brush so I could do the trim and like the smaller parts that I can't get with the roller. And I started doing it and realizing, oh crap, I'm not filming. So this is what I started with. And then I tried to take the brush and go through the, like where the shiplap meets, I guess the crack of it. And I was able to get it in there a little bit. What I'm thinking I'm going to have to do is take a smaller brush and just like lightly go in there because that definitely looks a lot cleaner than leaving it white because you can even see like some of the paint that well I don't know if you guys can see they're not paint kind of got in there so um that's probably gonna be the most tedious part of this painting but I just know that it's gonna look a lot better if I do it that way all right guys so I figured out how to go about getting in between the ship lap because I was not having any luck with the paintbrush. So I'm just taking a sponge brush and just going through like that. Like I said, it's gonna be very tedious, but I just feel like it will look a lot better this way. So I've already finished 
basically half of it and I'm just working myself up. What's your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life. Deep connection, lights a spark. It's like you know me in the depths of my heart. We're dreamers. Alright guys, so a little update on the fireplace. We have it almost completely done. The only thing that we have left now is I'm going to cut the mantle out of a 2 by 10 and then hang up hang up the mantle and then hang up the mirror. So I'm gonna let you guys see all of that like whenever I put all of that stuff up. Be a nice little time lapse. But now it's time to cut this piece of wood so we can finish this project up. guys so we're getting ready to put up this new mirror that Brittany bought but I did not realize that it is not a center hanging mirror it's got it's kind of offset kind of running into a problem because I should have I shouldn't have skipped a corner and should have put supports on both sides and it would have matched up perfectly but I have a solution for that so here's what I was talking about normally like with the other mirror it was a center mounted mirror these two have two on the side so I'm gonna take this one by cut it right here where I've already marked level it up put this in the center so this needs to be directly in sorry so this needs to be directly in the center of the wall i'm just kind of praying that this works the way that i think it's going to i think it will i got good faith but i'm gonna set you guys up so you guys can see it is done. You guys ready to see it? You ready for the reveal? Absolutely love it. I already started to decorate it a little bit for Christmas. I put a few things on there. I just got to put a little garland, but I love it so much. I was about to say, where's the remote so we can show them how cool this is. Again, I will be leaving a link for this electric fireplace down below, but it did come with the remote. Yeah. That's our current setting right now. So unfortunately, we won't be able to see the light on the side. We knew that going in but everything else we will definitely be able to utilize. So you, Frank just turned on the heat. So it's really easy. So on and off, and this changes your temperature. So you can just go up, down, you got a timer. How hot it is, you, this is to change the flame color, the background lights, I believe that is, mm -hmm. right? And then to lock it, that way if you use the remote or anything, it locks it. You just gotta hit that again to unlock it. We love it Absolutely so love it. it much. It changed our room so much. I know, it really did. And we went ahead and put the little crystals in there. Um, uh oh, I think we accidentally put the one with the paint in there too. <laughs> But it also came with rocks and fake logs, so if you, yes. we can change it if we want to. But other than that, this fireplace makeover DIY shiplap project is done. finally done. <laughs> Let me know if you guys enjoyed it. I know this is going to be a long video, so we're not going to make the outro super long. 
But I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you guys in our next one. In our next one. Bye, Bye guys. Yeah.